every time that I would come down here, I would always come down here at night and I had no idea that right across the street from my hotel is a trailer park. Alright you guys, so I got some Starbucks. I got Oh god. I love how Starbucks always like gives their drinks such complicated names. Ice shaken espresso with oat milk because I'm really into oat milk. But anyway, so I'm gonna go pick up Matt and we are going to go down to Atlantic City today because I booked a job in AC and it's for Spencer's and I'm super excited because I've worked with them before and it's honestly one of my favorite clients to work with because everybody on set is just so much fun to work with. And even though my call time is actually like totally out of the norm it's at 1 30 p.m and model call times are usually at like 8 a.m 9 a.m so i was like really happy and i could have technically like woken up and like just drove down from the city tomorrow in the morning but i want to wake up early go to the beach get a workout in and get some coffee you know chill out and just like relax because i've been having a really stressful week it should be fun we might hit some traffic but yeah you guys i'll see you guys later so every time that i would come down here i would always come down here at night and i had no idea that right across the street from my hotel is a trailer park holy lord of mother jesus i don't know how i feel about this but okay like a weird old fucking cemetery yeah. who cares about cemeteries like i'm more afraid of like rapist vans <laughs> like what are you nuts it literally smells like a clorox bottle which i guess is good wait do you think we're gonna get a room with a view of the trailer park oh, the trailer park yeah out <laughs> of the cemetery both solid <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god, you guys. Wait, we might, because it's on this side. <laughs> I should have just literally drove here at... Thank you. Oh, shit. Okay. Why? Honestly, it smells really clean, but the light doesn't work or something. Uh, you're going to have a love affair with this. Look, it's off, but it's really on. Oh my god. The rapping electrician. Oh my god, you guys. Do you think I'm weird that I bring my own bedding to hotels? No, these kinds of places I totally understand. But honestly though, it's not bad. Oh my god, the bed's so comfy. Wait, this is kind of cute. I feel like this is nicer than the other room. It's more spacious. The other one was more like a weird angle. Oh, well, I was going to show you to my outfit, but like I dropped my purse. Wow, I love these shorts. I think my parents are finally proud of me that I don't wear like hooker shorts. Okay, so this is the bathroom. It looks a little cringe, but it's fine. The bed looks like 10 hookers had sex on it. Yeah. Okay, honestly, this was $169. I don't know why it's so freaking expensive. It's literally Egg Harbor, but I guess it's like totally fine. It smells good, right? They probably are like, they probably couldn't clean it, so they sprayed like some air freshener. I feel like I've seen this room in like, in like a porno before. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Okay, okay, we're gonna show them the view. What do you think it is? Because I didn't see it yet. Honestly, I can't even see it. <laughs> Wait, what? It's like. Oh, never ending. I don't have anything against um. I don't have anything against trailer parks at all. I just think it's hilarious that like the one room and the one hotel. Oh, rapist van. Did you guys see that? Look, he's heading this way. I just checked like this map on if it, it tells you like if it's safe or not. And it's like dark purple is like really dangerous and like purple is like safe. Dude, the hotel that I wanted to stay in is like in the most dangerous. I mean, there's literally a freaking truck with graffiti on it. Hello. Hey, I don't know. But no, it's like freaking scary. We're in like not in a good area. And I've been coming here for like years for work and I just never really knew because I never came during the day. I swear I have like a radar now ever since like that whole thing in Miami. And I 
know I keep making a lot of inferences about like rapist vans and getting kidnapped and such, but that almost happened to me last year in March 2020 when we first went into lockdown. I actually almost got dragged into a van and taken. God knows what would have happened to me. And so now I'm just very aware of my surroundings. I keep tabs on everything from what the hotel looks like to what vans are around it, to what cars, to what people, every single thing. I even go on heat maps that tell you the local crime rate. You've actually been right every time. Go, yeah, just, it's like I just know it's like this is a bad area. This is a bad area, and it's not even like there was like a hooker hotel, and it literally says, "What yeah. did it say?" When so you come get some, come that get was some, very, dude. Very what strange. the? You, dude, this place is so run down. Oh my god! There's a flashing sign. Come get some. Stop it! What? I need to get. I'm gonna try to get it on the way back. Okay. I'm like, I'm so happy you're staying with me. Like, I'm never going on a job without you anymore. Not the bodyguard. Literally. No, this is not even like funny. It's just. No, uh, this. I started questioning our. Uh, like, no. what's crazy is that in the summer, it's probably beautiful. Everyone's down here. But no, not because this is going west. Going east. That was yeah, towards that the way. beach. Oh, this way. This way is going west. This is like going to Camden. Yeah, this is bad. That's where my dad wanted me to go to school. It's like, yeah, yeah. Go get killed. One of the I don't worst, care. One of the worst cities in New Jersey. I know. Statistically. I love this place. It's so cute. It honestly, it makes me feel like I'm in Miami. I swear to God. Okay, so me and Matt are like really fat. We got a burrito. Can I actually get another one? Uh -huh. Yeah, please. We got, you're driving. Uh -huh. Driving half a mile down the road. I don't even know what this is, but it looks great. And there's Matt eating some. Oh my God, we're drinking water. And after dinner, we decided to just go to the Hard Rock and check it out because I've never been there, so I really wanted to see what it's like. It's okay, my girlfriend's insane. No, I want to gamble on this one. So I actually woke up early and made it to the gym the next day, and I also went into the worst Walmart, probably in the state of New Jersey, that has a rating of 1.93 stars out of five. Every freaking thing in that store was sold out. Look at all these empty makeup shelves. Like, I am not making this up. The last time I was there, same freaking thing. You know, you'd think they'd clean up their act like a few months later. Nope, they're still sold out of the foundation. And after that, I headed back to the hotel and it was time to shower and get ready and actually go to work. So this is one of the cute outfits that I put together the night before. And it was time to head out the door and get my face painted. So I will show you a little bit of the BTS. I didn't really take too many BTS selfies, but so the first outfit I actually had to shoot was a cheerleader outfit. I got really excited and thought it was the big Dunkin' cup that you guys saw earlier in the back. I mean, I was like so excited to be a Dunkin' Donuts cup. Like you can see it right there. And after that, they transformed my face completely. But before that happened, I actually got to eat some of the food that they had for lunch. You could see that whole table of food in the back. They had pasta. I mean, pasta galore, every single type of pasta. They had wraps, they had french fries, they had chips, they had cookies, they had dessert, they had coffee. I mean, anything you wanted. It was pretty well catered. So yes, now I got to be this like, I don't really know what I was, but I was wearing a red wig with this. I mean, without the red wig, I kind of dig this makeup. And then it was time for me to go home, get my nails done for my job the next day. So the next day is Friday. So I'll see you guys in my next video.